Saigon Yelchin. I should have. I regret. These are the things I don't want to say before I die. So I'm going to say this now. So when you see this, brother, you know it comes from my heart. I was 24, new in Dubai. The city of life and a land of opportunities. All these skyscrapers and beautiful cars. Cannot afford an apartment or a car. Forget about that, I don't even have a real friend here. Then I met you, brother. You were hustling. We both had dreams. You said, imagine, brother, one day we're gonna live a life here. We're gonna drive a beautiful car. But let's focus on work. You were always open-hearted. You invited me to be among your friends when I was alone. You always checked on me to make sure I'm good. You wanted me to be successful because that's how you are, a great human being. You worked hard and you made it. You bought your dream car. The first thing you did was call me and said, brother, come outside, let's drive. I was so happy for you. You insisted that I drove. You gave me the feeling as if we made it together. You took your time to drive to my office just to share the happy moment. It was an amazing time. You lifted me up, a motivation, an inspiration. You made me work harder. You then built a family with your amazing wife, became a father of a beautiful daughter. What a role model for me. You're going to make it too, brother. That's what you always said. Then I get a call. Saigon. Your friend died in a car accident. <laughs> Is this a joke? This can't be true. I was just with you. I should have said how much I appreciate you, brother. I wish I could tell you now everything we dreamt about, we made it. I wish I could pick you up too. I promise myself I will inspire and motivate everyone around me like you did. <laughs> Remember, brother? We cannot afford to be lazy, because that's too expensive. You taught me. I appreciate moments now. I tell humans that I love them. I tell people around me how much I appreciate them. It might be the last chance to do so. At the end, all things perish, but the impressions you leave on others outlast you. Love always wins. No baby is born evil. We were created out of love, born into love. We have heroes around us every day. Sadly, we don't celebrate them enough. Our media doesn't show a mother waking up early to send her children to school, then working hard to feed them. Media doesn't celebrate our doctors who work 18-hour shifts to save lives, unless it's a temporary trend. We show bad, evil outliers, terrorists, murderers, criminals as if they deserve attention, as if they represent us, humans. Nobody was born racist. No animal is born evil. Some of them are so loyal they would die for you. And even if you die, they would be there for you. And if we continue to kill nature, we don't become murderers. It's called suicide. When we lose love, when we allow hate to win, humanity miserably fails. Equality fails. Remember, nobody has ever won a war. The last thing this three-year-old said before he died in a war was, I'm going to tell everything to God. Are we ready to answer? <laughs>